Hello and welcome back to Shoebox Tech. This video is about cleaning the inside of your computer system. So we start off by dismantling it and removing the RAM sticks. This has got DDR2 800 MHz. I've got two 2 GB and one 1 GB, totaling 6 GB of RAM. The old original GPU is a Zotac GT610 and it's again two, only 2 GB with a whopping 64 bit. DDR3. In a future video, we'll be upgrading the, some of the components in this system, so please like and subscribe if you'd like to see that. We'll be popping a new GPU in and a new power pack. Here, I've already upgraded to SSD, 256GB. Go ahead and remove some of the power supply cables. This power supply is a CIT 500W. I do not recommend it. It's a cheap one supplied from eBay. Uh, I don't really think it's got any safety ratings or 80 plus ratings. So do yourself a favor, spend a bit more money and get yourself a good power pack. The CPU, heatsink and fan. I'm just gonna go ahead and twist the hand clips to the left and that'll pop off the heatsink. And what you'll see underneath some extremely old thermal paste. So that's all dry and crusted. So I'm going to remove that with some 70% isopropanol wipes. Probably recommend if you can get your hands on the 99% alcohol wipes. Also a handy cordless hoover there just to remove all the dust. So just take your time here and gently use the wipes to slowly remove all of the thermal paste. You want a nice clean smooth surface to be applied the new, the new paste. And then this dismantling the fan that's just clips off, there's no screws, away from the heat sink. I'm going to grab my trusty hoover again and just remove all the dust particles. So here again I've got some isoprotonol alcohol solution. It's 70% alcohol and some kitchen roll. I'm just going to apply that start to loosen up and remove the old thermal paste, thermal grease. Ready to reapply new stuff and you can see that it's nice and clean and shiny. Do the same on the fan, gently removing all the dust. The cleaner we can get these components, the better the airflow and the better the coolant capacity. The system has a Intel Q6600 2.4 gigahertz quad core processor. This was released in around 2007. So again, it does show you that the system is old. But you know what? It's not obsolete. It's still more than capable of running normal everyday tasks and some light gaming, which you'll see in a future video when we upgrade the GPU. So there we go, the Malay. And then here is an old fan that I've got. I'm just going to fix this to the back. You can see from the arrows on the side of the fan, it shows you the airflow. And what we want to do is set this up as an extractor fan. Not the biggest size, but it'll do fine for this small system. Just pointing out the connections here on the motherboard for the fan. They're three pin fan connections, fan headers. And I've just run the wire around looped it over there, one of the heat sinks there and plugged it into the closest fan header. Reassembling the heat sink and the fan on top of that. Again, there's no screws, just clip straight back on. This is the, probably the stock cooler that the CPU came with. To reseat this, first we're going to go ahead and reapply our thermal paste, thermal grease. Nothing special here, just a normal tube that was purchased on eBay. 
I'm going to apply it across and use the spreading method. So I'm using a small piece of plastic to spread the thermal paste evenly across the CPU. And that's both sides with a nice even layer. And when we reseat the heatsink, this will get a good contact and spread it, spread out. The four push connectors there are little clips that just push into the motherboard, mounting holes. And again, the screw screw free mounts that you just twist and lock them in position. You'll know it's done correctly when it's strongly and firmly applied. If you try to lift it, it should be really solid. And there you can go. Next, I'm just going to loop the power connector for the fan. And this is a four pin CPU header. And it should be labeled on your motherboard CPU fan. Reinsert the RAM modules. This is a dual channel motherboard so you can see I put the same 2 gigabytes and another 2 gigabytes in the yellow channel channel 1 and then the 1 gigabyte and additional 1 gigabyte in the black channel channel 2 pop the GPU back in that'll be upgraded as I say in a future video so feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see this old 15 year old system upgraded with a new graphics card and a new power supply to try some modern gaming on it. I'm just going to go ahead and reconnect all the power cables the 24 pin main motherboard power connection and then the 4 pin, 4 pin 12 volt motherboard connection there and we're all done it's nice, clean, dust free and the new thermal paste on the CPU should keep that running cool. Go ahead, connect it up, power it on, check all your fans are running. And the system still boots. Perfect. So both the fans are running there, the CPU header fan, keeping the CPU cool. And I've got the extra small extractor fan pulling away the, the heat that's generated inside the case. So this is just idling. And then I run a Thermark CPU burn test. And the CPU temperature goes up to around 57 degrees Celsius there. So I'm happy with that. I left it running for quite some time to come back and check. And the maximum there, 62 degrees Celsius. So I'm happy with that. The system's ready to be upgraded. Just for the fun of it, we go ahead and run the Fairmark benchmark for the 1080p benchmark and we get a whopping 3 frames per second. So yeah, this old 15 year old system is not capable of running games at the moment, certainly not on 1080p setting for a modern game. And there we have it. This is just a Fairmark GPU stress test. I've left it. I left this running for quite a while again, just to see what temperatures we're getting up to. The GPU there up to 70 degrees Celsius. So again, we will be upgrading this. I'll be looking to put a, a much more powerful graphics card in there. Please like and subscribe if you want to see that coming up. Thank you.